Hit it live, here we go. You got the time, it's 12? It is 11.59. All right, so how's it going? It's going great, excellent. How you doing, bro? I'm good, I'm good. So thanks for joining yeah. my, uh, my challenge uh, training. Yep. Really appreciate your uh, attitude still, and still. En enthusiasm. Okay, so, hello, and uh, yeah, we're live. Uh, welcome to the um, Iron Core Club Forge Your Form Free Training Challenge. All right, what we're gonna do here is I'm gonna download, download some information that I learned years ago that I feel like is you know worth you knowing because it helped me. Uh, and he's gonna be like my test subject. He, he used to fight, right? Yes. You are a Golden Gloves boxer? Yep. And so you know a little bit, but you don't know any martial arts? No. Okay, so this is gonna be like a whole new concept yeah. type of stuff for you. Okay, so we're iron workers, right? We work with iron, we build buildings. Now the idea is, maybe you read the description, is that your body building is a structure and in our way of being, our structure is our posture. Um, so again, this is a breathing body. And how do you make a breathing body? You have a good structure, you have a good uh, design. And we're designed a certain way. And um, that's it, you know? So we wanna plumb up our, check it out, ready? Right? This is, this is, wait a second, let me go this way. Does it matter? Maybe it does. Okay, I beam. I beam column. All right, this is us. But our spine is has camber. All right, there's a shape to it, and our we have flexibility and we have rigidity, and the same as iron. Now, when they forge, okay, we're forging our form here. When you a blacksmith uses goes to a forge, what makes it function best? It's oxygen. Okay, you have to heat up the metal with oxygen. If you have an oxyacetylene torch and you dial in on the oxygen and you get a nice flame, then you can cut through all the crap and scrap in life. Okay, so this is some mindset I want you to think about. Also think about, um, you know, first of all, let me say this: we are electro pneumatic machines okay I don't know if you get that but we are electric okay we operate our mind, our mental capacity it, they're, they're impulses so we want to build it now in a martial arts way what I learned was what I call or what, I, what I'm calling the breathing body and what I learned was called squeezing your kidneys breathing down have you ever never heard of breathing down it's when you take the diaphragm, okay, here's a nice image. This is the diaphragmatic muscle. Okay, oh, let me just say this also. Um, this morning I mentioned it to one of the guys. They say, oh, like the 36 Chambers? If you've never seen this martial arts classic movie, you should check it out. And I said, yes, we're working on the one chamber of the diaphragmatic muscle in here. So these are your lungs, right? Have you seen this? No. Check it out. So there's your lungs. Come over here, come close. Your lungs, this whole thing in here, this chamber is the diaphragm. Now, when the di underneath here is all your vital organs, all right? When you breathe down, you're using the diaphragm in a conscious and, and a, a, a connected way to squeeze the organs. Have you ever heard about exercising your organs or your bones? No. This is what Iron Core style is going to like bring to your mindset because Again, this is something I learned, and not everybody has learned it because they didn't go to the martial arts club that I went to. Uh, and I use it all, all the time. I think it's valuable information. So that's why we're here. Um, again, posture and breath, it might sound a little woo-woo, but what makes a building function? Well, what? Structure, structure on the... Uh Right. Plum level. Plum level square, but what makes it really function? Electricity and air conditioning. Oh yeah, absolutely. Okay, electricity and air conditioning. In a natural way, we are we breathe in the air, and when we it's, let me put it to you like this: the chamber. Okay, this is the chamber. 
Your, your kidneys are considered a, a spark plug in a way. In traditional Chinese medicine, it, the, the kidneys are like the prime organs. They clean the blood, they cultivate, they sort of have qi. You've heard of qi, right? Tai chi. Uh, and they sort of regulate the other organs. Or do, It's like heavy duty. But, Very important. Very important. And um, so when we breathe down and squeeze the kidneys, this is the way of being in your body that this whole program is going to try to get to. The challenge is to take this guy, his body, right, he's in good shape, and just turn it up a notch by him understanding what this is, okay? Now, I, right, I did a little drawing the other day. Uh, look at this right here, a big Q. This is, you know the yin yang symbol? Can you guys see this? This, this S shape here? It's a little, maybe that's not the best way to do it. Let's just get into some uh, exercises, because what time are we at? I don't know. 12.05. All right, we got 12.05. Uh, that's not bad. I want to keep it a little tight. So, let me see you breathe for a second. You ever think about it? <laughs> it's pretty good. Um, come a little closer. Go ahead, go ahead. I'm not going to hit you. <laughs> Now, look at this guy. Beef. All right? Beef. He's got a classic, like, brawler posture. It's a little, little, like, you know, huh, in the front, right? Right. Now, if I told you stand up straight, what would you do? Shoulders back. Right? You, you put your shoulders back. Naturally, you would want to do that. So when we inhale, right, now I want you to think about uh, a chamber, like a chamber inside of a carburetor. I'm not a carburetor. A car uh, with a spark plug and the piston and the crankshaft. All right. When you breathe in and you breathe down, you want to breathe up and back first. You want to open up this chest area and then breathe down and around. Like I was going to draw here with the circle. You follow this line. This is your head over here. Look, continue. Here's your face, and the air comes in and comes around here. This this line, the central lines. This is the yin yang, right? This is energy. And uh, you got it coming through here. So the diaphragm, this line that separates the, let's say, the spirit from the earth, all right? Um, or the positive, the yin from the yang, the negative, the positive. It, there's, a, there's a movement, a circular movement. So you got to come around. And this line right here that separates the yin from the yang, or the black from the white, or the positive from the negative, this represents the diaphragm. And what's below here, this is your power center, one of your power centers. There are several. You got power centers in the palms of your hands and in the soles of your feet. Um, your crown, chakra, you know, all this stuff. But for our educational purposes, the kidneys that reside right in the center of this sphere of influence is how you're going to connect to your breathing body. Not how you're going to, but this is the, the focus. So now if you stand up, you breathe back, roll your shoulders back. We're going to do a little bit of like opening up, unbending of the chest uh, and the shoulders, right? And then inhale up, and then exhale back down. And try to try to like turn turn this thing, and then come in through through the midsection. Do that once or twice. The elbows to the to the chest. I mean, to the side of your body, and then oh, all through. Does that feel different? Yeah. Did you get a little head brush? Yeah. Yeah. All right. So, so that's that's like a simple thing. Now that's visual because we're overdoing it, but. In a nutshell, what we, should, what we can be doing is just breathing down all the time. I do it. I've literally changed the way I am in my body over to, you know, 20 years of practicing this technique. And, um, you know, I don't think you really think about it. But after COVID and uh, just my buddy here, I'm like, you know, i got to bring this stuff to the fore because we, we got to learn how to breathe better. Okay? We're dying over here. We're in this dusty environment, and it's a mess. Now, um, one other thing about exercising the bones, okay, when we exhale and breathe down and squeeze the diaphragm, okay, what I learned is when we throw a punch, we squeeze the muscles 
that surround the bones. Okay, the bones there are sort of like electric transmitters. They're, they're like we can send an electric shock or electric force through them. The idea is basically how do you strengthen your bones? You squeeze your muscles against them. You rub against them. Have you ever um, banged your shin? or any bone and you get like a calcification there? Yeah. Like a bump, right? Yeah. Hematoma, maybe? Right, right, that's, right. that's more blood. Okay. But when you when you stress out the bones a little bit, it will heal and strengthen. And uh, you know, some guys, you might see them breaking boards right. and breaking blocks, and they pound their fists for years, and their bones are literally like stones, rocks. Um, if you're interested in that, that's great. But what we want to just understand is that we can exercise our bones and organs posture and breath. And that's the, the essence of what Iron Core style and what this Iron Core club training is trying to get us to do. We want to forge our form. I don't know if I said it before, but you know, when they uh, refine uh, carbon, I mean, they refine iron ore into steel and iron, they use oxygen to like refine it and get the carbon content to certain levels. So on many levels, iron and because we're iron workers and because we're electromagnetic, iron has magnetic properties, we can attract health and repel disease by just understanding how to be in our body in this way. Does that sound appealing to you, brother? Very appealing. Very appealing. Okay, so, have you ever heard of the beam stretcher? Yeah. Right? The classic, yep. uh, mystical... We said that this morning. <laughs> Somebody go get the really? beam stretcher. Yeah. Oh, that's hilarious. Well, we're gonna do a little beam stretching exercise. Your spine, like I said, is the beam, it just we're gonna stretch it out and I'm gonna give you like two exercises, like some homework, all right? This is, you know, they're giving us all this training, right? I just got this paper the other day for all this training we have to do. Did you get that? No. In your company? No. Hold on a second. What's up? He's on here. All right. Dan Shevlin. Scaffolding. Danny Shevlin. Danny Shevlin. He, sh he showed up to one of my other things. Scaffold Director, Qualified, I mean this is probably the SST stuff that I think I took, but this is all this training that they want us to have, and it's like, let's get on the bandwagon and train ourselves. We take care of our own. Right, Mo, Mo! <laughs> Sorry, I'm getting, getting a little jazz. What time have we got? Time check, 12-12. 12-12, alright. Um, alright, I was gonna... You know what we could do instead of the other beam stretcher thing? Hang, we like to hang. Hang iron, hang and bang. One good way to strengthen the sp lengthen and strengthen the spine is to hang. Let's just get on this fucking scaffold right now. Can you see you? Uh, maybe you can. All right, maybe not. Just go home, if you're home, if you're not, go to work. Find time to hang and stretch your spine because this is what it's all about. The weight of the world and gravity, it's pulling us down. And we walk around like this, whatever, we gotta fight against that. And when we pump ourselves up with oxygen and conscious breathing and breathing down and pumping it up, getting that spark of energy going, it's just a natural way of, of doing things. So, the beam stretcher, let's just, uh, here, let's pull this over here. Down to the ground. Is that good? Oh, that core's right in the way. Breath 
for a stretch. You'll, you know, you gotta take the time to stretch. It's a, it's a thing, you know, when a metal worker draws out metal, they, you know, fan it, and they stretch it out, and you know, they heat it up, and we can do that for ourselves as well. Now, there's one more thing I wanna get to before the end of the day. When you go home tonight, oh yeah, that's good. the hang. Let the weight of your head pull the, you know, the ball of the cable of your um, electro, electric uh, power cord, your spinal cord. Just let that hang off your head and stretch it this way. Okay? If you have to bend your knees, that's fine. So we're not trying to stretch the hamstrings, we're just trying to lengthen and strengthen the spine. Now, one quick thing about sitting on that chair. I mean, Entertain the folks real quick. What's going on, everybody? Who's on here? Let's see, we got two people. Hey, hey, all right. Feel it you're back in just a couple of moments. Please hang on to your seat, fellas. All right. Do this. I'm going to let you do this. All right. All right. Sit in this chair like, a, like you normally would. Okay, now come forward to the edge of the chair and try to like do this thing with your legs and drop your knees below hip height. Okay? Okay. Do you feel like going a little lower? Yeah, did you, did you feel like your spine, I mean your, your sacrum, this yeah. turn forward, right? And you get this you get this curve yeah. going first. If you sit back, what happens? You, you go in reverse. Yeah. You want to go like this. Right, right. So the structure of the spine, the idea is to understand how that is and just keep that in your mindset. So now let's lay, let's throw your shoulders back. And uh, is that comfortable? Yeah. It's kind of comfortable, right? So, so. Your, your balance, you're stacked. Yeah. And it's just like practice this for a day or two. Okay. Tomorrow we're going to get into some more of the breathing, but because posture is power. I want to give you like a little bit of just focus on that for a day. Okay, there's several other things we can get covered uh, later or some other time, but that's it. And listen, because this is a, a Iron Core style, Iron Core club, it's really like a school, there's going to be homework. And the homework is if you take a picture of yourself and post it and you get involved. And, uh, Oh, they can't see me? I can't see them. I'm wearing my glasses. There you go. You got to do your homework. Okay? Otherwise, this challenge is it's just it's between me and him. For you back out there in the world working or down on another floor if you're watching, um, do it at your own leisure. But do it. And again, anybody who does it and posts in this group that they did it, you know, I could check you out. I could see, you know, get a side shot. Have your spouse or whoever take a picture of you and you know make this time worth it we got five days the challenge for me is to get him to train him to at least share with my knowledge with him and you and have it be effective and that's essentially it you know what time it is now thank you neil uh it's 12 18. 12 18. all right there's any questions in the chat i mean i, I don't have a chat i'm not zooming this is just a lazy facebook live you know, post a comment, let me know, and uh, if this was valuable to you. And um, anyway, how do you feel now? I feel good. I feel a little stretched out. The spine stretched out nice. The way it was I mean, you didn't do hardly anything. Yeah, but just, you know, the couple of breathing techniques and all that. I feel a little more looser than when I came up here. Yeah. So, and you ran up here. I did run up here. Ten flights. So that, that, uh, that warmed me up. Right. So he's in good shape, right? And again, the shape of your spine, in my book, is what's more important than the shape of your gut or your forearm or your fucking guns or your feet or your whatever. You know what I mean? It's like, think about these things, please, because uh, the time is short. And I don't know about you, but 2020 took a toll on a lot of people, psychologically, maybe physically. And, uh, and, and it, there's two months left. We could probably turn it around in our minds. No matter what the election does, I elect to erect 
and fine tune my anatomical tool. Give me some of that. Come on, go with it. Let's go, let's go. All right, all right. So we're gonna sign off right now. Stay healthy, my people. Stay healthy. Thanks for watching. Stay healthy. You big two, who's that? Yo, Hammer. Hammer. Mm, hammer. All right. All right, guys, thanks again. Um, spread the word if you found this valuable. Uh, any other last thoughts? Very good, man. Steel, Neil, and, and uh, Yamara coming at your life. And leaving you to your own devices and God vices. Bless. Get God tight, bless. get tight. Hang tight. <laughs> Hit it hard. Stay All right. Stay strong. Peace. Later, guys.